Hi everyone, welcome to etcstudy.com. In this video, we will discuss about impediments to regional cooperation, the river water dispute. Before we begin this topic, I would like to share that this study material is exclusively developed for the civil services exam. Though it is in brief, it covers the topic comprehensively and here you will get such video study materials of entire syllabus. So watch, subscribe, share among your friends and also comment. In addition to this, we also provide complete study materials for the civil services optional subject, Political Science. It is developed after thorough research. Various reliable sources are studied for the compilation of this study material. The significant advantages of our Political Science study materials are It is unique in the market Nowhere you will get such type of presentation as it is explained through maps, it is explained through images, it is explained through tables, graphs and diagrams. It is available in color printed form which is a little expensive as well as in black and white form. Last but not the least, you will get soft copy of relevant articles and research papers that is additional study materials absolutely free. However, we also provide hard copy of these additional study materials but it is chargeable that is you need to pay for the printing cost. Moreover, it is a complete package as you can watch our videos and then study the study materials. Likewise, you can teach yourself. Additionally, we also offer online classes at flexible time. You may contact us for this. Wonderful opportunity for the working aspirants. The details of pricing and how to buy, etc. are given in the last of this video. If interested, please have a look. Now let's discuss the topic. Introduction With nearly a quarter of the world's population and less than 5% of the world's annual renewable water resources, the South Asian region faces increasing water stress. In South Asia, the major northern river systems, the Indus and the Ganga Brahmaputra, are transboundary in nature. So in this video, I will discuss India's water disputes with its neighboring states. Water dispute between India and Pakistan. The Indus Waters Treaty of 1960 settled the issue of water sharing that arose between India and Pakistan after partition. The treaty divided the Indus River systems, giving the use of the eastern rivers, the Satluj, Bias, and Ravi to India while giving the use of the western rivers, the Indus, Jhelum and Chenab to Pakistan. This roughly apportioned 80% of the water to Pakistan and 20% to India. India was also entitled to certain limited quantities of water from the three western rivers and the quantum for each river and for what purposes were spelt out in great detail in the treaty. However, India is yet to fully utilize its entitlement from the western rivers, both in terms of irrigation and hydroelectric potential. The Commission has been meeting regularly each year and has an important role to play in the smooth functioning of the treaty. Baglihar and Kishan Ganga Disputes only once in the treaties more than 50 years 
has the treaty's dispute resolution mechanism been put to the test when Pakistan's objections on the Bakliher project on the Chenab River were referred to a neutral expert appointed by the World Bank in 2005 at Pakistan's request. The expert suggested minor changes in the scope of construction and broadly upheld India's approach. In 2010, Pakistan decided to bring its objections to the Kishan Ganga project on a tributary of the Jhelum to an international court of arbitration. Pakistan has objected to the project on the ground that it has existing uses on the waters of the Kishan Ganga, or Neelam as it is called in Pakistan. The following map shows the location of Baglihar and Kishan Ganga projects. Baglihar project dispute. Baglihar hydroelectric power project is a run of the river power project on the Chenab River located in the southern Doda district of the Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir. This project was conceived in 1992, approved in 1996, and construction began in 1999. However, Pakistan objected and claimed that some design parameters were too lax than were needed for feasible power generation and provided India with excessive ability to accelerate, deaccelerate, or block flow of the river, thus giving India a strategic leverage in times of political tension or war. Thus giving India a strategic leverage in times of political tension or war. During 1999 to 2004, India and Pakistan held several rounds of talks on the design of projects but could not reach an agreement. On 18th January 2005, Pakistan raised six objections to the World Bank, a broker and signatory of Indus Water Treaty. In its final decision, World Bank upheld some minor objections of Pakistan declaring that bondage capacity be reduced by 13.5%, height of dam structure be reduced by 1.5 meter, and power intake tunnels be raised by 3 meters, thereby limiting some flow control capabilities of the earlier design. Kishanganga project started in 2007, and it is located 5 kilometers north of Bandipur, in Jammu and Kashmir, India, and will have an installed capacity of 330 megawatts. It would have total installed capacity of 330 megawatts. However, Pakistan raised the concern that this project will reduce power generation of Neelam Jhelum hydropower plant, which is located in Pakistan. In 2010, Pakistan appealed to the Hague's Permanent Court of Arbitration, complaining that the Kishan Ganga hydroelectric plant violates the Indus River Treaty by increasing the catchment of the Jhelum River and depriving Pakistan of its water rights. But the decision came in India's favour. Pakistan again approached World Bank, but World Bank also favoured India. India and Bangladesh Water Dispute More than 50 rivers of the Ganga Brahmaputra system flow from India into Bangladesh. The construction of the Faraka Barrage and Canal by India to reduce siltation of Kolkata port led to concerns in Bangladesh about possible reduction in water flows of the Ganga below Faraka. Several interim arrangements and agreements were entered into between India and Bangladesh from 1974 to December 1996 for operationalizing the Faraka Barrage, sharing the lean season flows of the Ganga. Ganga Water and Tista Treaties The lingering conflict over sharing of the Ganga waters was resolved with the conclusion of the historic Ganga Waters Treaty signed on December 12, 1996, 
between Prime Minister Dev Gowda and Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. The treaty, which is valid for 30 years, provides a long-term solution to the sharing of Ganga waters. It was widely expected that an agreement on the Tista could be concluded during the visit of Prime Minister Manmohan Singh to Dhaka in September 2011. However, this agreement fell through because of opposition from the Chief Minister of West Bengal. Brahmaputra River and India-China-Bangladesh relation Despite the two having signed several MOUs on strengthening communication and strategic trust, China's dam building and water division plants along the Brahmaputra called Yarling Zangbo in China is a source of tension between the two neighbours. As lower riparian countries, India and Bangladesh rely on the Brahmaputra's water for agriculture. China has now plans to build four more dams on the Brahmaputra in Tibet. Both New Delhi and Dhaka worry that these dams will give Beijing the ability to divert or store water in times of political crisis. However, China has denied that it has any project for diverting the Brahmaputra waters and has also started sharing some limited data such apprehensions only underline the importance of transparency and cooperative approaches. There are several arrangements for sharing and development of water resources which India has put in place with its neighbours over the years. Despite ups and downs in bilateral relations, these have provided predictable and transparent frameworks for water sharing. The price structures of our political science and international relations study materials are, as you can see in this table, we provide our study materials covering complete syllabus, that is full package or in part as well. If you want only part 1 of paper 1, you can buy only that or combination of any. The color study materials have not only colorful print but also images and maps are given on glossy papers which are not only attractive but also easy to understand. If you enroll for our online classes, you will get the color study materials free of cost. To buy our study materials, you can call us at the given number or email us at the given email address. Please note that this is non-refundable. That is once you purchased, it will not be refunded.